Hello guys and welcome back to Medieval Resurrection. Uh, we just finished Return to the Cemetery and now we have a few different paths we could go so let's check them out. So we're at the Galamir Plains. Um, I'm going to go in there just to give you a quick look around at what it is. It's not a level per se but um, you, from here you can go to Scarecrow Fields, you can go to the Sleeping Village or you can go to the little sign on the left leading to those trees. You access that from Galamere Plains. Um, I'll go there and I'll show you what it is. Galamere Plains, the less beautiful relative of Galamere Fetching. <laughs> hey, I lost my sister at the carnival around here. That coconut shy was rigged, I tell you. Look, imps, blatantly selling hooky gear. Maybe pick up a bargain. Only two school imps at a time. Wow. That explains a lot. So yeah, there's a discounted shop here. Hello, stranger! What can I sell you today? A nice bit of schmatter. Well, I do like a bit of schmutter. But as you can see, Woden's brand costs eight tokens. And that's, uh, I'll come on to that in a minute. But I will definitely buy these for a cheaper price. That was a bargain, indeed. Right, so what we've got here is we've got this is the access to the level I was telling you about. The, um, Back to graveyard. Homesick already? What is it? Oh yeah. So that leads to the graveyard, in which case it must be this way that leads to the enchanted forest. Ah, the nope, this is sleeping village. village. We should visit the mayor's house. You never take me anywhere nice. Public health note, there's an unforeseen enchantment that is currently murderous puppets and slaves to those are. Please refrain from harming the villagers, as ordinarily there are peace-loving people and would not dream of attempting to place anyone's head on a sharp pole. Well, fair play, I suppose. I think this way leads to Scarecrow ooh, Fields. Ooh. Yes, it Either does. Either you are more scared than I thought, or that's the smell of the countryside. Ah, oh, that's definitely Scarecrow Fields. I've never read these books before. Drive slowly, vegetables crossing. Fair play. Right, so down here somewhere must be the Enchanted Forest, but we don't need to go there yet anyway. Golf coach filled, qualified Messier filled, filled, right exterminator, position vacant. I'll pass on that. Alright, so that's the Enchanted Forest and the gate is closed. Beyond this locked gate, through the Enchanted Forest, lies the sea. Romantic, isn't it? I suppose. I worked in Carnival once, but I quit. Second billing to Sammy the Seal Boy. <laughs> Give me a break. Roll up, roll up for the undead carnival. See, that's basically what this is. It's not a carnival. You can win tokens by doing different games. Your and take on the weapons master. You bet your spine, okay? Uh, let's do Dan's arm. So you have to kill the enemies with the supplied weapon. Without dying, obviously. And you don't get your life bottles. Luckily, just one throw of the arm kills them, so if you're lucky enough to hit multiple, you can kill quite a few at once, or at least damage them quite badly. Or you could just stand and club them, considering zombies don't really do too much damage. Although they do keep coming back for a while. It's, it's a lot diff more difficult than it looks, so obviously you don't have too far to run if you're using a mainly ranged weapon. Club him! There we go, I think we did that quite well. Oh god, we're not done. So it can take some time to do these games, and I do plan on doing them. Whether I'll do them on... I'll probably do them recorded, but it's just they take a long time. Probably have a separate episode where I just do carnival games. I'm not going to do any other than just this one for now, just, just to generally show you what the games can be like. So this is one type, there's another arena one where you can choose your weapons and you just fight to the death with all these enemies until you uh, win. I can't remember many of the others, I didn't really play here that much as a kid, I was more focused on the story. Oh come on. Oh there's some uh, two fat zombies, I think that's just knocked it down to one, yes it has. So there we go, fat zombies down, thin zombies about to be down. 
Surely that's it. There we go. Challenge complete. So you unlock these green ones and then you go on to the orange ones which are medium and then the red ones which are difficult. I think you have to do all of them to get a token, or at least all of one one level. It's, it's difficult to get eight tokens anyway, I can tell you that much. But for now, let's go on to the next level. Look, imps! Blatantly selling cookie gear. Maybe Let's go to Scarecrow Fields. I will save it just because, you know, I don't want to do that challenge again. Scarecrow Fields. Scarecrow Fields. Prepare to be scared if you're a crow. Right, so this level's brutal. Oh, scarecrows always freak me out. The hundred eyes. Let's hurry through to Pumpkin Gorge. So the scarecrows are absolutely fine. They do serious damage as well. They don't take as much to kill as they do in Medieval 1, but they still do serious damage. So one of the tricks to this level is you use fire quite a lot. Set the club on fire and... Um, Burn the hay. Those haystacks look drier than your Batman. It also does extra damage against those guys, but I don't want to risk the club really. Not when it's pretty much really invaluable for this level. These guys can outrange the longsword, so I recommend either using a shield or a ranged weapon. As you can see, though, they take quite some damage. It is best to just use a short sword and a shield for now. I'm not sure if these guys might actually take increased damage from the hammer. They don't, but it's quite easy to kill them with it. They do some serious damage, man. They're a lot harder than they are in uh, Medieval 1. I do apologise if I say Resident Evil, I keep giving them mixed up. Let's see what he's got. Welcome to my humble shop. Spend freely. There's no pockets in the shroud, tighty. Mm, it's not worth paying that much for the health file though, is it? Right, um, so we need to set the hay on fire again. Oh, there's a building. Let's go. Well, we've got our club back up to full health anyway. I think that's all that this is for, to be honest. There's no extra treasure. Alright, let's go light our club on fire and uh, do these hay patches. Really catchy tune for this level. I think I slightly like this version more than the Medieval 1 version, but the Medieval 1 version is really good as well. This has always been my favourite level on both games, easily. Easily my favourite. Right, so we got some more treasure. Some more treasure. More importantly, the rune. Well, at least we can make some progress now. There are nasty, creepy, scratchy things in the corn crops, Dan. Don't stray from the path. Hey, yeah, I'm not even going to show you. They're foul, trust me. You can see them in the background then if you want to record, if you want to rewind. You can just see it now look, running forwards in front of me. They kill you the second you walk in. You can, if you're very lucky, dash straight through. But half the time it doesn't work, so I wouldn't recommend it. So let's get that health bar. I'm generally not going anywhere near. So this will be a familiar sight if you ever played the original. Look, a two-story metallic imp. <laughs> On any other day, that would seem weird. So you just have to shoot the head off. And once the head's off, you can shoot the imp itself. It really is super easy on the, the regular old medieval one. Even easier than this. Stomp you. Wow, it doesn't have that in the original. Takes a lot less crossbow bolts and a lot less time to kill him on the original. 
So let's see what we've got to deal with around here then. Farmers. Right, I'm definitely throwing knife in these fuck this the uh, Hayman farmer to death. I'm not wasting any more time getting close to these guys and losing health. It may take a lot of throwing knife, but I don't care. So me and Matt are planning on recording Lord of the Rings online either tonight or tomorrow, sometime very soon anyway. Most likely tonight we've decided on sale. Keep an eye out for that. Why can't I just snipe the imp from here? That took a lot. Like that, that seriously took a lot of throwing knives. Throw two at a time, get extra damage. And let's finish it off with Dan's arm. Oh yeah, I'm going there. I'm just a tight one when it comes to anything that has to do with numbers, gold, money, um, ammo, anything like that. Very shady with it. <laughs> Tempted to try the spear on the imp. This imp's a bit tougher. He does do a bit of a twisty leg move sometimes. So as you can see it does way more damage to them. It's probably my strongest ranged weapon at the minute. That got him. Hmm. Right, so I believe that unlocks this bit. Yes it does, because there's the farm it. If you can get them pinned up against the corn, you're okay to just spam them with the uh, quick attacks to finish them off. But as you can see, they have a lot of health. They're really tough to defeat. Alright, so now we come on to a bit of puzzle gameplay. So you can follow the corn, the corn rows around. Obviously, these scarecrows are going to try and ruin your day. Long range weapons are best to deal with, either range weapons or weapons with long reach. So the chalice is over there, but we can't get to it from here. Let's go and light that haystack and quickly look for any other haystacks. There's one here with a health vial, that's very useful. I believe there may well be one up here as well. No, there isn't. Okay, so let's go back for that health file, definitely. And we don't even have to kill a scarecrow for it. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to kill this one now before it causes problems later on. Yeah, don't use slow attacks. Quick attacks the best for these guys. As I've just found out, I've got 100 souls, so I can get the chalice. The scarecrows are a lot easier to kill on this one, I'm telling you. You wait. If you, if you, want, if you want to compare, uh, I'd recommend watching Akuza Chan's video. Uh, he has a scarecrow fields of Res uh, Resident Evil. Medieval 1 on PS1. The scarecrows are so much harder. So much harder. But still difficult on this, to be fair, if you're not equipped properly. Ah, so, ah yeah, yeah, I know this. So the goal here is... You have to lead these chickens by walking behind them into there and then you have to get them into those piles of corn. It's difficult. <laughs> this is bit used to annoy me so much as a kid. So we'll get him up there for now and then we'll get this chicken up there. Come on chicken. There we go. Right, come on, up you go, up you go. Into the corn piles. Right, so he's eating that corn. Well, he was eating that corn. There we go, that's got us the combine harvest apart. I just want you guys to eat the corn. Health vial. I want you guys to eat that corn pile, thank you. Bag of gold, thank you chickens. So what we got here then? 
Note to repairman, my new fangled corn cutting machine is missing a cog. I've gone back to traditional methods but I'm not sure kicking my wife out at dawn with a scythe and a pasty is going to get harvesting on time. Can you source a replacement part and fix it? Signed, the farmer. Well, we can give it a try. Aha, so let's get this pushed. I don't think there's anything on the ground floor. No, there isn't. It's just got to do that then. And then you can follow this along for the switch that lowers it. And that lowers the funky looking machine. Ooh. Right, let's add the combine harvester part. And that sets it into motion. And now we should have opened a new path in the cornfields. There we go. Let's open the bridge with the merchant imp that we don't really need right now. Life bottle. More importantly, the rune. So I don't think there's any other secrets here. Combine harvest is the bottom of the water. I've never noticed that before, but I suppose it has to go somewhere. The farmer won't be happy about that. But then again, the farmer's probably a zombie anyway. So we want to go back to this way with the first scarecrow we killed in the fields. In here, and there we go. Right, for the chalice, we do need to go this way. This puzzle that's in the original, which is good. We want to go this way. Oh god, we want to avoid that. Oh man, I came in at completely the worst time I could have possibly. It's alright though. We've got a health file to refill our bottle mostly. Right, this should be the chalice, I think. Indeed it is. We've got our weapon, guaranteed. Now we just need to finish the rest of these machine puzzles. And then I believe we're done. Alright, so let's get through there. They do so much damage, it's unreal. So we've got some gold. I'm pretty sure that's the way we came in. But I'll give it off anyway. Yes, it is. So where do we need to go then? Do we need to go to the the ball crusher pit, the, the wheat grinder. Yes we do. Well, I suppose it's not too bad. Here's me just dashing in again like an idiot. Here we go, we need to go this way. We don't do we? We don't need to go this way at all. Hmm. It's definitely just finding the right one. That way won't be it. So... Is there one to the left, around this bit? That was lucky. And it's the right way to go as well. It's not bad, just stay out of the middle, obviously. Okay, this one's horrible. As you can see, extremely difficult. Nah, it's not really, just have to time it right and I can't do that for shizzle. Oh, okay, that's better. Thank God I thought I had to go back to that trap. So I need to go all the way around to here to get the rune. The chaos rune. As if that hits you. And then we get through there from the chaos rune, and we're done. The Hall of Heroes where they feast and make merry unto eternity. <laughs> yes, even on a school night. Wow. So let's see who else we've unlocked. No one on the ground floor. Still haven't unlocked Eric Dan. And I'm pretty sure these guys come back with like a secondary weapon. Maybe not all of them, but I definitely remember Crossbow Man gives you an upgraded crossbow. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, that is a good weapon. At you look, running around in your bones for the skill. You are just so nouveau dead. Huh? I, Raven Hoods, last of the Centaur Princes, 
have not the earth in a thousand years, Gallop. But last time out, I won on the flat by seven lengths. <laughs> Carrying nine stone eleven. <laughs> Crazy. Yourself a favor do for this game. Take my long bow. It is the weapon of noblemen. <laughs> my breeding you don't quite have, Mr. Johnny Die Lately. But you do your best, I sure. Ciao, Bell. <laughs> yes, the longbow, very good weapon. I like it. Obviously, as its name suggests, it's got an ace range, and the arrows can go miles up. Oh, as if that counts as an invisible barrier. Alright, well, they have to go down bottom to leave anyway. Who's that? I know that weapon, and that is an awesome weapon. I only got it by cheating, because I've had all the weapons through cheats at some point, but I have no shame. Right, check out the range on this bad boy. Serious range compared to Thrustbear. Plus you can go... That arrow does serious damage. But you can fire three like usual. I say longsword, still proving to be my favourite weapon. And that's the end of that mission guys. So we'll save it there and I'll continue Pumpkin Gorge in another video because it's quite a long quite a long mission that it's got a boss fight and stuff so we shall save it there and uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time